cannot believe I'm even thinking about this. I thought I would go there after seeing it online and being like, oh, I don't really like this. I don't really like this, but guys. Good morning guys and happy Wednesday. Welcome to today's vlog. We have Lincoln home today. He's supposed to be at school but he has a little bit of a runny nose and I don't want to chance him getting anyone sick. Where do you want to go? Spooky house. A spooky house? Yeah. Who has a spooky house? Mm, I'm going to spooky house. <laughs> It was so funny, you guys. A couple weeks ago when Fran and Leroy were watching Nick and Angel's house, the kids scared her with a freaking like four inch cockroach that she came home back here and said, I can't stay there, they have cockroaches. And Daddy, turns Daddy, out it was just a prank. Daddy, <laughs> and they told her when she was over here last weekend. And so now Linga keeps saying it's a spooky house and he wants to go to Uncle Nick's spooky house. But we're getting ready to leave to go have lunch at the Cheesecake Factory, and then we're going to look at the house, see what it's like. Fran and I actually went yesterday. And we, oh, he just fell. What happened? <laughs> ready? We're gonna go to into the car. You ready? Look, the spooky house. Okay, here. Take your stuff. We're gonna get in the car. Bumpa's gonna come too. Let me get your diaper. Daddy's keeping Lincoln warm. Grandma and Grandpa are trying to stay warm. We have to get some cheesecake to bring home, baby. <laughs> It'll stay cold so in the car. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Look! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I always have loved their houses. Yeah, they're built nice. They are classy. And guess what? They have wrought iron fences. It's a classy uh, Look at the fences. House. Well, he's here, right? You can see that gazebo because they were so overgrown. Yeah, it was so overgrown. There's nothing there. They cleaned that up. You can tell they used to have a trampoline right there where all the grass is dead. Perfect circle. Mateo! Hi! What's up? Nice. Dining room. It's a big house. Wow, it's huge. I saw some of the pictures. I'm like, what? Yeah. There's a dining room. That goes downstairs to the. Oh! Which one? Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's, Already? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. Whoa, look at this. Pretty. Oh, washer and dryer? Yeah. Sweet. So nice floors. This is the office. This would be your dad's office. Did you turn on? Yeah, it has a, its own HVAC, they said. This is the, like, living area, I guess. I know this is the biggest. I was. I know. <laughs> Have you ever seen a house in Texas like this, no. where it's this big? I rarely uh, see three stories anymore. I know. So. Like this is. You ready to see the closet? I think it's too small. Is it big? Oh, it is big. Wow. It's a nice That's a chandelier in it. Lee, look at this closet. Holy <laughs> Somebody had a lot of clothes in here. Yeah. Wow. That's huge. Did you see the sitting area here? Yeah, I did. Did you see? Oh, I thought you were Louis. You guys both had your. Keep the Texas bugs out. 
And then what is this? Just like a sitting room? Yeah. Formal. Formal sitting room. Oh man, it's going to work. This this is our workout room. Workout room? Yeah. You can get that one machine. It's like back in the nineties, that three way like through that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get behind the girls and do like yeah. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> this is your office, like, baby. <laughs> and then you're just mesmerized uh, watching this. Yeah. I don't know if you could work with this view though. What is this? An office. Office. Yeah. Take that phone call when the kids are screaming. Just <laughs> let me step right outside. Where's the kitchen? At? On the other side. Oh, and then it has a half bath for all your company. Cool. Bar. Oh. I do like a like a coffee bar instead of a bar bar. I'm gonna get uh, my shoes on. I'm gonna go in the back, babe. See the pool, babe. Do you see the patio? Oh, your dad's way out there. Leroy! I know. I like this little walkway. Gazebo. Got a gate? Yeah, there's a gate to go out there. Oh, that's nice. Then you have the walking trail? Yeah, then the walking trail. Did you see that? Yeah. Little bridge? Yeah. Huge house, huh? Yeah. Very elegant area. A lot of yard here. I know. And flat, so it's not like... Hold. Who's ready for Valentine's? This is Sissy's. This is Tatum's. And those are Camden's. See, these are little erasers, and he's going to stick them on there and give them to his friend. And. And then he's just going to write his name from Camden. From Camden. But it's already going to say from, so he's just going to have to write Camden. guys it's been a while since we vlogged we put the kids to bed and I just wanted to get on here and give you guys my thoughts I didn't get everyone's thoughts like now we have everyone's thoughts but after we saw it everybody had to go back to work so it was like full force we didn't have time to talk until this afternoon and obviously I didn't want to like record our conversation but I did want to 
sit down with you guys right now and let you guys know a little bit of an update of what we all thought about the house may or may not happen obviously it's all in god's hands so we don't know for sure but we saw the house it is beautiful it is not like brand new so there are some things that do need to be updated because the house was built years ago years ago like over 20 years ago so there are things that need to be updated however they put two hundred thousand dollars into updates so a lot of it has been updated but there obviously is more that we would want to do to like make it fit our family but the bones of the house is really really good it's in a really really cute location good area um, obviously right now we live in a smaller community the surrounding areas are what make it look bigger but we live in a smaller town of 17,000 people so it's really like a tight-knit community obviously we're super close to our school which is a huge plus in this house we absolutely love this house guys I never to be honest I never even thought that this would be something that would cross my mind to even do I love our neighbors I love the school I think the kids are doing amazing in school however if the right house came along we weren't opposed to it the layout of this house would drastically improve we still would all live under one roof it would just be a huge roof because the upstairs part of the house is 4,400 square feet. My camera's dying, so I'm gonna make this fast. The bottom part of the house is 2,400 square feet. What we thought of the house, it's a great house. It has great bones. It was updated really, really well. It still does need updating. Um, but of course, you can move into the house and you can do the renovations and make it everything you wanted. Like I made this house everything I wanted and more. I'm all about change. I love my in-laws. I truly believe that family is all we have. I know we have friends and I love our friends, but family is always there for you. And I feel like my kids would know so much about their grandparents. And I just really think that if this is what's meant to be, it's what's meant to be. The house is everything we could ask for. The backyard is gorgeous. Cannot believe I'm even thinking about this. I thought I would go there after seeing it online and being like, oh, I don't really like this, I don't really like this, but guys, everything I uh, don't really like, like the kitchen cabinets are, oh my gosh, no. But that all can be changed. The house is gorgeous, and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If everything works out, then everything works out. It's all in God's hands. Like I said, we love this house that we own right now. It is everything we wanted and more, but it is lacking some things that we have wanted. This house that we were looking at is a lake view. It's not like a lake where you're like boating on it, but it's got a lake that has a really nice view and it has a really nice sized backyard. It has a pool. It has a deck. It has five bedrooms plus an office, it really is the house for us. It's just if it's the right house for us, if everything's gonna work. So from here on, the next thing is our realtor is checking in to the utilities because obviously this is a huge house. We wanna know what we're getting ourselves into. We need to know when the roof was built and all of that. So we're gonna get all of that and then we are actually going to have one of our friends that is a contractor come out to the house because I want him to give us a bid on what would be the price of the things that we would have to change. Like the boys bathroom, there's a toilet right in front of the shower. I don't know why they put it like that. So I just wanna know like things like that cosmetically that I would wanna change is doable. It doesn't have to be done right away. There will be a toilet there for the kids. But I wanna know that in the future it's something we could change. So yeah, that's our thoughts on it. We're all gonna sit, sleep on it, think about it, go see it again. It's not an easy decision because you have four adults like thinking about this whole thing. Like we're thinking about years to come. If we're gonna do this and we're gonna renovate this house and we're gonna make it everything we wanted and more, we need to make sure that in two years, we all don't want to move. That is what we are contemplating right now. So if you guys can just be praying for us, if um, 
you know, the Lord wants us here, we will stay here in Fran and Leroy. We'll just find another house. Or if this is the house for us, like I said, there's not many houses that would be perfect for us because of our situation. We don't want a mother-in-law's quarter where Fran and Leroy would just have one bedroom. We want them to have a kitchen. We want them to have a guest bedroom. We want them to feel like they have a house too, because in the long run, if they don't have that, I feel like we would buy a house with a mother-in-law's quarter, then they would wanna move and we just should have stayed here, if you know what I mean. So we wanna make sure that it's perfect for everyone. We wanna make sure that it's perfect for us because like I said, this is our dream home. I feel like every home has potential and this home has potential. If I could literally pick this house up and put a basement under it and put it on the view and the backyard that this other one has, um, it would be awesome. But everything is meant to be and what is meant to be will be and happen. So I'm going to end the video here. Like I said, I'm not going to show you guys everything. So this will be a shorter vlog. Stay tuned because we have a lot of decisions to make and I'm going to be documenting every step of the way if we decide to stay here or if we do decide to move. Um, we'll be taking you guys along with us. I can't believe I'm saying this. I never thought I would even contemplate this. We hope you had a great day. We hope you had a great night. And remember, it is always today. Good night, guys.